This instructional videotape is included with each chance wet dry hot stick tester. Two models are available. Catalog number C403-3178 for 115 volt operation and C403-3179 for 230. Either model comes in a carrying case with a check bar and printed instructions. Thoroughly read and understand the instructions. This videotape is not a substitute for the instruction manual. Before each use, make sure the power switch is in the off position before plugging in the tester. And make sure the zero knob is turned all the way to the left, fully counterclockwise. Then, begin the setup procedure by flipping the power switch to dry. Now, set the meter needle on the zero to line mark by adjusting the zero knob. Nothing should be in the tester opening during this procedure. Next, place the check bar in the tester opening. The needle now should deflect nearly full scale on the meter. This self-test indicates that the tester is functional. To begin dry testing a hot stick, support it at both ends and place the tester on it. Take overlapping readings from one end to the other. To move the tester, pick it up each time. Do not slide the tester on the stick. Rotate the stick and test it again from end to end. Continue in this manner at four different positions around the pole circumference to make sure the stick is thoroughly tested. Now for wet testing. The first step is to thoroughly clean each stick with Moisture Eater 2 solvent and a non-abrasive cloth. Apply the solvent liberally and wipe away contaminants from the entire stick. Again, make sure the power switch is in the off position before plugging in the tester and make sure the zero knob is turned all the way to the left, fully counterclockwise. Then, begin the wet testing sequence by flipping the power switch to wet. Now, set the meter needle on the zero to line mark by adjusting the zero knob. For wet testing, support both ends of the hot stick in a horizontal position and spray it with distilled or demineralized water evenly all around from end to end. Then, begin testing by placing the tester on the stick. Take overlapping readings from one end to the other. This is the same as for the dry testing sequence, except the voltage should be applied to each tested section until the reading stabilizes before continuing to the next section of the stick. Pick up the tester to move it. Do not slide the tester on the stick to avoid dragging the water spray into a conductive path and producing a false reading. Now turn the stick 90 degrees and test it again from end to end. Continue in this manner to four different positions around the pole circumference to make sure the stick is thoroughly tested. Let's back up here to take a closer look at how to prepare tools for the wet test. Here is what not to do. Excessive spraying will cause water to run to the bottom of the stick, making a continuous water path. The pole on the left is too saturated for testing. It may be from excessive spraying or because its surface coating has lost its gloss. Properly finished hot sticks have a gloss coating. With a proper gloss finish and properly sprayed for wet testing, a typical hot stick should appear as shown on the right. Without glazing or forming a drip line, the spray should form water beads over the tool's entire surface. For dry or wet testing, you should be aware that the Chance Hot Stick Tester
can test live line tools of any brand or material and in compliance with industry testing standards. It is designed to detect leakage inside the tool. But contamination on a tool's exterior can cause high leakage current readings. If a tool fails the test, properly clean and refinish it as needed and repeat the test sequence. If it fails this retest, remove the tool from service as its internal integrity is suspect. To review, we have covered three basic techniques for correct use of the tester. First, be sure to overlap the tester locations where you take readings along the full length of a tool. Second, take care to lift the tester each time you move it. Do not slide it on the tool surface. That could damage the pole or create false readings. And last, remember to rotate the tool to test it from end to end in four directions, 90 degrees apart. For more details and before you use the tester, you should thoroughly read and understand the printed instructions provided with it. This program has been presented by Hubble Power Systems, a family of companies serving utilities for more than 100 years. You know us as Anderson for tools and connectors, Chance for tools, construction, switching, and protection products, Kira for power cable, Hypertronics for test equipment, and Ohio Brass for insulators and arresters. Great names in the utility industry working together as Hubble Power Systems to bring you quality electrical products.